Hello, welcome to Hope She Gardens and Homestead. Being a homestead is a lot more than just gardens and animals. It's a lifestyle. And this time of year, our gardens are producing and we're not just eating from our gardens, we're putting up for the following year. And so you've got food all over your counters at this time of year and you're constantly preserving. So I've got a bunch of peaches here that um, are the leftovers from our tree. And so I'm gonna make three or four different jams out of it. Now they're called jams, but they're more for like basting your chicken and, and that type of thing. So what I'm gonna do right now is get the peaches ready. I'm gonna put them in boiling water and then an ice bath and slip off the skins. And after I do that, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> hey girl. I got um, all the peaches peeled and got the seed out of them and I saved that in a bowl because I can use that to make uh, jelly out of later. And I've got everything divided up, I've got everything measured out into my bowls so that I can do it really quick because I'm making three different types of jam. I'm making one that's chipotle, I'm making one that has basil, and then one that has cardamom. Uh, so peach and chipotle, peach and basil, peach and cardamom. And yeah, they're jellies and you can use them if you would like with toast or whatever, but they're mainly for uh, marinating or for using on the grill with your chicken or any meat that you would like. So what you do is you'll just measure, measure your sugar, your peaches, your lemon juice, and then your chipotle in here. Bring it up to a bowl, put your pectin in really fast because we're using a liquid pectin. And bring it up to a bowl for one minute and then put it in the sterilized jars and then bowl it in your water canner for 10 minutes. That's easy. So they'll go really quick and it doesn't take a lot of time. What takes the time is peeling your peaches and getting things prepared. That's what takes time in canning is the preparation. When you actually go to the canning part of it, it goes like that. <laughs> it's the preparation part that uh, takes a long time. But it's well worth it because the food you get, the quality is so much better than anything you can buy in a store. Anything you grow at home and you can at home is so much better than canned stuff at a store. The flavor is night and day. So I'm going to get canning. Get it done. I'll show it to you when I'm through. Okay, so we're done. I have the peach chipotle, the peach and basil, the peach and cardamom, and then um, nothing is wasted because out of the peelings and the seeds, I made jelly. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was the pressure canner. When you make jams and jelly, you do use a water bath but you can do that with your pressure canner. You don't have to bring it over to the top. I went to a canning class at Johnson's Garden in Austin and they said you just need to bring it up to the shoulder. Well, where's the shoulder of a jar? This is the shoulder where it just starts going up. When you have a jar like this that doesn't have that shoulder, I just bring it up to this rim right here. And then when you put your pressure canner top on, you don't put anything else. You don't put your weight or your gauge, whichever you use. You just put the lid on, it seals, and uh, it works as a, a water bath. I do have water baths that I use because you can't do that with your quart jars. You can only do that with your pints and smaller. You cannot use that uh, the pressure canner for your quart jars. So... Good day of canning. I'm tired. Thank you, Stanley, for staying with me.